I've tried almost every major branded AR glasses, but I think I might have finally found the one. It's Robin B360. This is the X-Real One. It's the latest pair of AR glasses from X-Real that lets you watch content, play games, or even do some productivity on a massive home theater screen, anywhere you want. This tag alone is already incredible, but what sets the X-Real One apart from other AR glasses is X-Real's first ever self-developed X1 chip which opens up a lot of new features and takes AR glasses to the next level. For example, it offers a native 3 degrees of freedom spatial screen experience through the glasses itself, which is very convenient because you don't have to worry about software, adapters or selective hardware configurations. So you can imagine I was very excited that Xreal sent me the Xreal One to review. Just to be clear, the Xreal Ones aren't AR glasses in the way that you can interact with your environment. But that might change with the upcoming Xreal Eye that you can connect to your Xreal One or Pro. So keep an eye out for that. However, these glasses are still quite amazing. For example, I've been mainly using the Xreal Ones for the following three things. For movies, as an on-the-go pocket projector, as you can easily connect them with the included USB-C cable to your phone or any host device that has a USB-C out port to watch some movies and TV shows on a 1080p virtual home theater screen, no matter if you're at home or on the go. And the image looks absolutely incredible on the Xreal One. It's sharp and vibrant, and I didn't experience any disordered or blurry visuals. I also use the Xreal One for gaming on my consoles or PC handhelds like the Steam Deck or ROG Ally X, as you can easily jump from a 7-inch display to a 147-inch display in a matter of seconds by plugging in the USB-C cable from the glasses to the the handheld, making you forget that you are gaming on a handheld as the screen is so immersive. And one of the cool things about the glasses is that you have a high 120Hz refresh rate, so you can even use them for fast paced games. And lastly, I use the glasses for productivity, as you can easily connect them to your laptop or in my case my MacBook, to get an extra screen or multiple screens to improve your productivity, which in my case has been great for some content creation. As you might already know, on other AR glasses, glasses the screen is fixed right in front of you. That means the screen moves directly with your head movement. So most of the time you need to sit perfectly still to enjoy the glasses. However, thanks to the X1 chip on the Xreal One AR glasses, you get a couple of other ways to view your content or play your games. The first way would be to use anchor mode, where you can pin your screen anywhere in your environment so the screen will stay in one place while you move your head and stays there when you turn your head back. Back, which was possible before with separate devices like the Xreal Beam, but the Xreal One has this feature implemented on the glasses itself, meaning you can use the feature on any connected device by simply using the buttons on the temples. You can also use follow mode, which lets your screen gently follow where you are looking, eliminating motion blur as you move your head, which is a lot more comfortable than the fixed screen like on other AR glasses. Because with the follow mode, you get that smooth and stable image. You can even use the new ultra wide mode which is a curved virtual screen that's great for watching content or playing video games, providing you an even more immersive feeling. It's really something else when you're watching amazing vistas or playing racing games. Anyway, it's definitely worth trying. And lastly, you get a side view mode where you can shrink and pin your screen to any side you prefer. So you can keep watching your favorite movies or TV shows while still being able to see the real world around you. It's a completely different experience than the other ones, but I can definitely see the use case for this. For example, when you're walking outside. So you might be thinking, Robin, I want a pair of Xreal One glasses right now. If so, you can get a pair of Xreal One AR glasses at the price of 549 euros or 499 dollars, with the link in the video description. But if you need more info, let me tell you about the box content, the specs, and show you how it works and performs. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that would be super helpful. Inside the box you get a protective case which you can easily snap open or close, and contains the Xreal One, which has a very nice 
slim design, as they almost look like regular sunglasses. Furthermore, you get a USB-C to USB-C cable, a couple of nose pads, a cleaning cloth, and a user manual. As for the design, the X-Real One almost have the same dimensions as a regular pair of sunglasses, but are slightly thicker due to the installed tech and comes in at a lightweight of 84 grams. It also has a new spring hinge design to adapt to all hat shapes and sizes without experiencing any pinching or pressure. And to make it even more comfortable, you can adjust the X-Real One's temples to three different points, which will also impact your viewing experience. And you can use one of the nose pads that comes in three different sizes to reduce any pressure on your nose while wearing the glasses. And speaking of the frame, it only measures 0.19 centimeters at its widest point. All of this combined makes the X-Real One comfortable to wear as regular sunglasses. And as I own several pair of AR glasses, I can honestly say the X-Real One is one of the best or maybe the best pair of AR glasses I've tried so far in terms of comfort. Moving on to the specs, the X-Real One has Sony micro OLED screens that display a gigantic screen right in front of you at the size of 117 to 147 inch, equivalent to a projection from a 4 meter distance. The virtual display is larger than you might be used to due to its wider field of view. Normally on AR glasses it's about 43 degrees, but on the X-Real One it's 50 degrees. As for the image quality, the X-Real One has a 1080p resolution with a high color accuracy. So you will experience clear and sharp images with through the live colors. And it has a maximum refresh rate of 120 hertz for a smooth visual experience. That means it's also great to use for your PS5 or Xbox Series X, as you can enjoy the maximum refresh rate, which is perfect for fast-paced games. Xreal collaborated with Bose and implemented Sound by Bose to create an immersive spatial audio experience, so you don't need any headphones. And the cool thing about these speakers is that besides having decent audio, you also have a good privacy, as long as you don't turn up the speakers too loud. Furthermore, the Xreal One OLED displays have a brightness up to 600 nits, which means you can use the Xreal Ones in almost any environment. In case you are using the Xreal Ones in a brightly lit environment, you can change the lens transparency from clear mode to shade mode, which dims the glasses so you will get a clearer image. Or you can set them in theater mode, which turns the background black so you will get even more immersed into your games or movies. If you want to use the X-Real ones outside, it's good to know that they offer a 100% UV protection, so you can use them as regular sunglasses. The X-Real One AR glasses also have a TUV Rhineland certification, that means they offer a great eye comfort and they even have flicker free low blue light displays that helps prevent eye strain and fatigue. Thanks to the X1 chip you could also use the IPD or interpupillary distance on the X-Real One which is the distance between the center of your eyes so you're guaranteed a clear crisp image. Speaking of, the X1 chip is specifically developed for AR and as mentioned you don't need any cables, apps or adapters to enjoy native 3D OF. If you want to change several settings of the glasses, you can use the on-frame buttons to open and navigate the menu, which is easy to use and works conveniently. No worries if you're a beginner, because the first time you open the menu, you get a quick start guide that explains all buttons and basic features, so that's quite nice. On this small button at the top of your right temple, you can dim the glasses so you can quickly switch between your screen and environment. On this large button at the bottom of your right temple, you can change the brightness to 8 different levels, but you can also use them to navigate the menu. And with this red button, you can quickly switch between anchor mode or follow mode, or go to Xreal One's menu if you double press it. On the menu, you have a display option where you can change your screen size from 114 inch or even 185 inch if you want to zoom into the picture. Furthermore, you can change the distance from 4 to 10 meters, set up ultra wide mode, or set up 3D mode to watch 3D side by side content. Then you can enable or disable the stabilizer from the follow mode, enable brightness enhancement, or enable the mentioned side view. And when you enable this, you can also change the side view to the left or right side of your screen. You can also enable the display optimization that chooses the best display settings, change the color temperature, change the time the glasses go to auto sleep and change the mentioned IPD adjustment. 
You also have an option to change the volume or audio protocol of the glasses and set up your own shortcuts for a short press or long press. An example of this would be the setup a long press to switch to ultra wide mode. Moving on, at the settings you can replay the tutorial, change the sensor calibration, set up a different language or set the glasses to factory settings. So as you can see, there is a lot you can do on the X-Real Ones menu thanks to the X1 chip. But what are my overall thoughts about the X-Real Ones? Personally, I was always a big fan of AR glasses. Having a pocket home theater screen anywhere you want is something I always wanted. And being able to get this in the form factor of a pair of sunglasses is something I could only dream of. Having tried all these different types of AR glasses that have a lot of similarities with each other, I felt the need for something new. Or better said, the next step in AR glasses. And I'm happy to say that Xreal has done a great job at that. With their new Xreal One AR glasses, and their X1 chip. It not only offers a comfortable pair of glasses with a high resolution and refresh rate, but it also offers the convenience of several ways to use your AR glasses. Whether you want to use them in anchor mode, follow mode, ultra wide mode or side view, you can easily switch between them with the navigation on the glasses without having to use adapters or separate devices. Switching between modes is just incredibly simple and you can see your changes in real time with a single press of a button. Of course, you still need a host device to watch your content or play games. But you never know what the next step in AR glasses will be. Or maybe you do, with the upcoming Xreal Eye and Xreal One Pro. If you want to know more about them, or you want to buy the Xreal One AR glasses, check out the link in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to watch more of my content right away, click right here to watch the next video. See you there!